What if you could have your own Google Drive? Are you looking for a safe and secure way to host and own your files? If so, then you need to check out the next cloud, the open source cloud solution platform that puts you in control of your data. In this video, we'll discover the features that Nextcloud has to offer and how to set up your own server. Unlike Google Drive, Nextcloud gives you the ability to store and access your data on your own terms. You will have complete control over who can access your data and how it's shared, giving you the peace of mind that comes with knowing your data is always safe and secure. Let's start by creating our instance of Nextcloud. So we go to LSTO, hit Login. Once you are in your dashboard, hit Deploy my first service. Search for Nextcloud. Hit select, next, and create service. We should receive an email as soon as our instance is deployed and ready. Okay, so I just received the email to tell me that my instance is ready. Let's go to click here to get the password. I land on the service dashboard. I click on copy to the clipboard and I go to my newly created instance. So the main account created is root and the password, I have it in my clipboard. So hit login. The first time we arrive, we have a guide to getting started, but we will skip it. So we have this dashboard here. On the top left, we have the different applications. For the moment, there are not all applications. We will add some later. It's directly inside Nextcloud. But just let's start by looking the files application. As you can see, it's very similar to what you were used to with uh, Google Drive, but here it's not on Google Cloud, it's on your own server and only you and the people you will give access to will have access to uh, the data here. Let's upload a file. Here you can see it's uploaded. You have the preview, it's exactly uh, like Google Drive. You can click on open sidebar. And here you have the activity, so you have an audit trail of what happened to this file. You can add comments and start discussions here. And you can share it, so either with access from uh, people on your instance of your next cloud, or you can create a public link by hitting share link. So if I open private browsing, I open this link and I'm able to have my picture here. And you have a preview of the picture. Okay, you can also create document. So it's text file and the file format is MD. So for Markdown Editor, well, let's open a template. Here you can edit your articles or files directly inside the Nextcloud instance. This is a different than um, Google Drive document that allows Word and Excel documents, but it's still quite useful and you can store those documents and open them another way. I tried loading a CSV and Excel file, but it seems it's a known bug. I couldn't make it work, but maybe in the updates of Nextcloud it will work. By default in your drive, you have a manual to know how to use Nextcloud. So this is well thought. So the first time you arrive, it's not empty, but it comes with documentation and guides to help you getting started. And if it's you who know the product, it may be okay. But if you deploy it for a customer, it can be very useful that you have this at disposal and you don't have to do you the explanations. Okay, the second app by default is Photos. And it's also the equivalent of Google Photos. You have a lot of options. And what is cool is that it's directly connected to the drive, the files section. So the picture I uploaded before is now available here. I told you there are other apps available, so you can get them from here and go to apps. And Nextcloud is built a very modular way because you can enable, disable and install applications. By default, it comes with the most useful ones. And you have app bundles. And the one we want to install is Hub Bundle. It contains the calendar, contact, mail and talk and also Nextcloud Office. So maybe the Word file can work. I only tried with CSV and Excel when I had the bug. So enable all. Okay, so now all my apps are installed and you can see them on the top bar here. So it's way more furnished now and it looks more like Google Cloud. So let's go to Talk. Talk is a direct alternative to Google Chat 
and Google Meet at the same time. So you can create conversation and do a video calls directly here. So let's name it tests, allow guests to join via link, create conversation, close. So here we can discuss, hello, how are you? And we can even start call from here. But before starting one, I will show you one great thing about Nextcloud is that it comes with desktop clients and mobile applications. So if you go to either the App Store or Play Store, you can search for Nextcloud and you have Nextcloud Talk, which is uh, for the cloud service. It asks you the server address. So I paste it here. And then I have two options. Either I create a Nextcloud account or I can use a app token. So it's what I will do. So I go to security. I can say talk Android mobile, create new app password. And I will have a username, which is my account username. Now I'm connected on root and my password. And now I'm on the mobile application and I can see that I have my discussion available here. So I can start a call on the desktop. And I can join it directly on my cell phone. Okay, so now let's see what other applications we have. So we have the mail, we can connect a mail account directly browse our emails here. We can create contacts and circles, both from the application itself. I can show you how to create users on your instance. So go to users on the top right. And here you can create groups and users. User, you need to hit new user. So I will say OSCM. I can add myself to a group or no. So I will add me to the admin group. And you can add a quota of uh, storage available for this account. You can define a default one or unlimited or some gigabytes. Let's keep the default one and let's create the user. So now if I go in private browsing and try to connect, I'm another user having access to the platform with the getting started tutorial, having access to all the applications available on Nextcloud. So I can start my journey as an independent user of this cloud. And the last application I installed on this instance is the calendar. One interesting thing is that uh, when you create events, you can, like on Google Calendar, create a link to a room. So here it's not a Google Meet, it's a talk room. So with the talk application we used before. So it's very convenient to use. So let's have a look at uh, the settings available. You can customize your profile. By default, there is only the strict minimum. It's translated in many languages. By default, it detected that I'm French. So I had the French user interface. It's me who changed it. You can add info available on your account. So it's available for your other users you want to share it with. We already saw the security tab. So you can define your password, but you can also create app token to connect on the clients. You can define what kind of notification you receive, so either by mail or push notifications. As we've seen, there are mobile and desktop applications. We use the Talk application, but the main one is the file application, which has the same feature than here in files. But if you have the desktop app, you can automatically sync a folder with your cloud, like Google Drive does. You can also do some teming to have your own brand instead of the next cloud branding. You can even switch between different temps. And when you install applications, you have their options available here in the administration tab. So here I'm on talk and you can see the different settings available for this very application. So you can customize and set up every application independently. You really have control on how your cloud works. In conclusion, Nextcloud is a powerful, secure and customizable open source cloud storage platform that provides an excellent alternative to Google Drive. You can take full control of your data and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with knowing your data is safe, secure and yours. Its modular approach with a lot of applications in addition to the desktop and mobile clients makes it a very serious solution to use for you or your clients. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
video. If it's the case, don't hesitate to hit the like button to help other open source software users discover this service. If you want to continue to discover new open source alternatives to proprietary software, just click here.